We gotta open this bad boy. Okay. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment. Without further ado. Hey, what's going on, Motu fans? And, you know, non Motu fans that accidentally pondered upon this. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm talking about anymore sometimes. <laughs> what's going on, guys? It's Hyperdalic. And today, I got Mackinac from the Masters of the Universe New Eternia series. Now, these are the ones we've been waiting for. These are the good ones. These are the ones where they're showing us what they got. Kind of digging it. <laughs> I've got Trapjaw. He's actually pretty good. I like him a lot. Uh, he looks phenomenal. The colors punch. He's he's just he's got such cool cool looks to him. Like he he's he's great. Go check out my video. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> Let's take a look around the box. I mean, this art is always it's Motu, right? Masters of the Universe has to have phenomenal art. Right, we'll show the show the road ripper, right? Sorry, it's a little stuffy. I, I'm a little stuffy. <laughs> uh, he's not, although he's got a really long neck. Oh, allergy season probably sucks for him. <laughs> I'm, I'm in, I mean, I can't wait to bust him open and, and play around with the neck pieces and stuff. It looks, uh, it looks kind of cool. But yeah, and there's everybody in the wave. Uh, there's our spoiler for Kaldor. We saw that a while ago. I got uh, Battle Armor He-Man, too. And uh, I don't know. I, I might get Triclops. I don't know. I, I want to see him first before I grab him. So, I don't know. I'll probably check somebody else's review out before I decide to spend money on him and then do a review on him. But this, this, this figure, this figure, we're going to open this one up right now. All right, there's Mechanic. All right, so Mechanic comes with a few accessories. Comes with punchy fists. Right. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna change out the the shield holding hand. With a punchy fist. Because cause then the other accessory he comes with is a shield. Right? We'll pop that on. We're going to deck him out first. And then we'll take closer looks. Now, of course, he comes with his trusty mace. But apparently, it is a telescope? And you can add what will be the neck pieces to that. And I guess this is supposed to be like the end that he looks through. <laughs> I don't know. So you can smack people and look far away. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I wish my telescopes were always that, you know, rugged and, <laughs> and held together that well. Now, of course, he is Mechanek. And what would Mechanek be? Without his mac, mac and neck, <laughs> right? Mac and neck. And I got it. You know, he's he gets a little top heavy with that mace, so I got to try and pose him up right. Okay, and then he also comes with neck pieces, five of them, so you can split it up between the his mace and his neck. But we're not going to do that. And why aren't we going to do that? Because he's mech and neck. <laughs> We're going to put it on his neck. I mean, here. Real quick, we'll see what it looks like. Just because I don't want to be that guy that does the review that's, you know, not... He didn't show everything. Okay. There you go. That's how ridiculous that looks. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Are you going to do that? Let me know in the comments if that's how you would pose him. I don't know if I would. <laughs> But let's pop these bad boys on his neck and see if this works out easy. I'm trying to have them all face in the, the same way. It looks like the pattern on the front and the back is the same. So, like, no matter which way you go with it, 
you're probably going to be okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that neck. That is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. I, um... <laughs> That's outstanding. I got to put him... I don't know if I can... <laughs> I'm going to have to put him on... He's going on the ground floor, folks. <laughs> Whoop. Bumping cameras and moving stuff around. I can act a big boy. <laughs> he takes up some space here. Here, we'll... we're going to put his club up on his shoulder. Right? Kind of. <laughs> we'll do that. There we go. See, and, and this is what I mean about the shield. Like, you got to do goofy things with the arm. <laughs> but there we go. I mean, really, oh, dang it, my neck. Stay up, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, man, that was that was a chore. <laughs> that, was, that was insanity right there. He uh he he is he is fantastic. He is fantastic in the hands. He is fantastic to the eyes. My only gripe is that shield arm, and I want to say you can pop the shield on the back, too. So, like, he doesn't have to have an arm. Right. You can pop that back there. And there he is. <laughs> so we can get him all in frame. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's zoom in on him so you can see some of the quality and all of the nice little, nice little details. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> there's Mackinac, and I love that they vac metaled his eyes. I'm not sure how they did it. I don't know if that's some sort of a paint treatment or what, but whatever it is, it came out good. And he's got a little fleck of paint up here. I'll have to see if I can get rid of that later. But yeah, I mean. Uh, there's some slop on the face, some uh, some paint detail slop. I'll have to clean that up later. And there's like an actual strand of it. Looks like it's from the metal. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe it is paint. Yeah, they got a little sloppy with it. A little sloppy. But you know, hey, head can go like that. Another head can go like that. Or the head can go like that. <laughs> um, you know, I at the at the peg, like there's there's quite a bit of range, and like each individual peg really does kind of give you some decent range. And I like the I like the details on the neck. That's pretty cool. Very techno y right? Um, we'll move on down. Moving on down, moving on down. Uh, <laughs> there's the there's the armor, and it is different than Stinkor's. Uh, Stinkor didn't have the peg in the back either. He had a air tank, so it's a it's it's an original sculpt, right? And let's see, Motu does not adopt butterfly joints. Um, but they have really nice articulation otherwise, like 360 joint right there, bicep swivel for Masterverse. You got a double elbow joint. And I mean, you can do that. It's pretty interesting, right? You can do some cool stuff with that. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Come on down to the, the hand, which is a horizontal rocker, right? On a ball, it can swivel. Goes horizontal, left and right. Right. Uh, we come on down. We've got some waist articulation, and uh, I, I believe there is some kind of a diaphragm in there. <laughs> it's weird. He's uh, it's moving around on him uh, under the armor. Um, but yeah, there there appears to be a diaphragm under there. I don't want to take him apart. Well, you know what? It's a it's a video. Come on, let's let's take a peek. Yep, diaphragm. That's what I thought. And actually, that wasn't too bad to take off. And it appears like it's not too hard to put on. 
They're going to come around. And I mean, that way still rotate 360. This Masters of the Universe line does not come apart. Okay. I mean, you can get it apart if you really want to. If you're thinking about using these for customs, I mean, go ahead, I guess. But they are not the friendliest when it comes to customizing. There is a lot you can do. Like, you can pop off all of these joints and all of that stuff. You know, it's they're good. You know, it's fairly, you know, customizable. But I'm just saying, it's not as easy as Origins. I don't think anything is as easy as Origins. <laughs> all right, so come on down to the legs. We've got a hip cut and double joint on the knee we're gonna we're gonna kick the middle of his back with that knee okay but it's some really good range oh, bye bye shield <laughs> it is it's some really good range um past the knee we come to the boot cut boot cup swi uh, boot cut swivels 360 right the foot will swivel 360 as well and the foot will go back that far and it'll go forward that far. Masterverse figures have some really nice articulation range. Okay. Now, before we zoom back out, let's take a look at all of these tiny little techno -y details. Because that was one of the cool things about Mechanek was that he had these cool little like details. And he was all like, you know, cyborged out. And there's the back. That looks pretty dope. And I like the new Masterverse uh, belts. And stuff they're pretty good i like them i like them a lot uh the boots I, i'm not a big fan of the toe thing with boots but eh, whatever they're not too pronounced they, they kept it kind of mild so i'm not going to complain about it too much right. <laughs> it's so ridiculous it's so good i love it <laughs> the only thing that would make this better is that if if it actually went inside and you know like retracted into the figure <laughs> but yeah all right, let's zoom back up. So, yeah, I can't even put him on the turntable because if you put his neck fully together, which is how he's going on my shelf. <laughs> Mattel gave me the pieces. I'm putting him on the shelf like this. <laughs> because he's got to go there. Like It's mecha neck. It's like the longest mecha neck neck I've ever gotten. So I got a mecha neck on the shelf like that with mecha neck. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm far more impressed with the Masterverse, uh, New Eternia version of Mechanic than I was with the Origins version. Um, I feel like the Origins version kind of got phoned in. Um, <laughs> I know there's a lot of reuse to Mechanic, period, but. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> like, he deserves better. He's such a cool figure. Like, he's such a cool character. Like, I, I you know, I, I love him. I, I think I think Mechanek has always had, like, a great color combination. I'm still, I'm still a little on the fence about that shield. Um, I like the shield. Don't get me wrong. I just, I don't like how these shields go on the gauntlet. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's cool. But now in hand and in practice, I hate it because it's not conducive for posing. It's it just it makes complications that you just don't want. <laughs> All right, come here, Mechanic. <laughs> Look at that head. It's so long. I gotta clean up that paint. Mattel. Look at that. Come on. Quality control, people. Get on it. <laughs> Meganek, please inform the folks about all of the things that I need them to do. Well, what you kind of do here is he's he's got a I think in my head he's got a southern accent now. You're gonna go over here and you're gonna turn on notifications and subscribe. And then once you subscribe, you're gonna go over here and you're gonna hit that like button. <laughs> and then you know, you leave a comment about whether or not you like the new attorney line. Which ones have you picked up so far, and which ones do you think are the best? Uh, Mechanic's face needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but I honestly think they did a great job on him, uh, design-wise. Uh, I, I I can be forgiving of the 
of the 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 production but design wise this thing is a knock out of the park um qc wise there's some slop going on on that face there and i'm i'm a little sad about it but uh it is still a beautiful face and once i clean that up it's going to be even more beautiful and uh i hope that all of you beautiful people have a wonderful day love you very much thank you for stopping by thanks for checking out my take on mechanic and uh check out some of these other videos over here you know i got some other stuff i got this i got that i got you know check out some of my playlists <laughs> all right guys have a great one peace out